beyond vision is a unique learning hub which is the brainchild of Professor Monica Chaudhary and myself, Anita, with the motto of learning today for a better tomorrow for ophthalmic professionals and students. The objective of this unique initiative is to offer eye care education for all under one roof covering basics to advanced curriculum in a blended and structural learning model to upgrade one's knowledge and skills and make them practice ready. Every course offered is designed by an expert panel keeping the learning objectives and outcomes in mind and the course content delivered by the best in the field. Learn Beyond Vision was conceived during a casual conversation between Monica Mann and myself one day while we were discussing the future of optometry in India post passing of the Health and Allied Health Council Bill by the Parliament on 28th March 2021. We realized that upgrading knowledge and skills is the way forward and the pandemic has shown us that education can happen outside the classroom too. And so we came up with this online approach of upgrading knowledge and skills in an individual and make them competent and confident for practice. We sincerely hope that this endeavor of ours brings fruition and bridges the current gap between academics and practice in eye care delivery. I would take this opportunity to thank our families, friends and well-wishers who helped us in bringing this humble project of ours to reality. As passionate educators and clinicians, we hope to give our very best by bringing about several need-of-the-art courses in the coming days. Thank you. Hello everybody, Learn Beyond Vision is a blessing of God and I am blessed that God gave me this opportunity and I seek His blessings forever. The journey begins with the concept with which me and Anita chatted over in taking over education to all and thanks to this COVID disruption when online education became a reality. So friends, all what you see today is executed by Anita and I am blessed to have a friend like her. Thank you Anita for all your contribution. I know she has worked day in day out and has been totally thinking about LBV for the last few months that we have been working on it. The contribution of each faculty is beyond thanks. They have sat in to deliver the best lectures and prepare whatever content and knowledge they have to share with you. I am grateful to them. I am grateful to my patients, industry and everybody who is contributing so that we all learn. So that this knowledge is disseminated to everybody. And I am grateful to the team which has worked behind this the accounts, the finance, the admin, each one contributing in small respect has made this large event. Above all, the contribution of graphic designer Shivani Chawla is beyond words. She's done so interestingly these lectures that we, we are making it more glamorous just because of her contribution. I hope you will like it. I am fortunate that she accepted to do all this for us. The thanks doesn't end without saying a big thank you to the family who at every moment has supported me to let me do all this whatever I wanted to. And I am here to say big thank you to all of you who trusted us and joined these courses. I intend 
to bring with honesty the knowledge i know we may make some mistakes we are clinicians we are educators and we would have made a mistake i request you all to give us a feedback so that we can improve and we'll try to each one of you is a contributor i think you know much more than us at times and your contribution will be shared with everybody and we'll be happy to do that i know we have all learned by our own experiences and the experienced professional is the best teacher i want you all to share this with us and we will forward it to everybody to learn above all again i repeat the intentions are very honest and i want to give back the education and share it with everybody please pardon us for the mistakes and give us an honest feedback so that we can improve stay safe stay healthy and keep learning every time thank you optometry and its allied professional were not regulated and educated in a structured manner until 28 march 2021 when the health and allied health commission bill was passed by the parliament the current situation is in transition where professionals now understand that to be licensed he needs to upgrade his or her education and knowledge one will have to pass and prove his competency for the license in the forthcoming regulatory framework every student will have to undergo an exit exam for registration Not only this the continuing education will become part of the renewal of license and the professional is now liable for any negligence in the eye care delivery Today's challenge is considerable shortage of faculty trainers and organizations who can cater up to this massive demand LBV intends to serve the nation by bridging this gap and providing education pan india to the professional and student by blended or or online teaching method by bridging in this technology skill knowledge through experts not only from india but from the world hence lbv is a concept which is conceived with a vision to impart knowledge to all of the ethnic personnel beyond what they have been learning at school we shall have a pool of experts and faculty who will contribute to the development of this resource material we ultimately intend to integrate with industries for hands on sessions once we can have the covid situation getting better i am monica chaudhary i congratulate all those who have joined this course and i welcome each one to learn and upskill
warm greetings to all the participants. My name is Rakis Roshan and I am the CEO of Oxide Limited, which is based in Oxford in the United Kingdom. We research and manufacture beautiful AI smart glasses that are designed to enhance the vision of people living with sight loss. I'm also a big fan of Professor Monica Chaudhary's initiatives and her passion to increase the awareness of low vision. Sight loss is a major public health issue. At present, globally, 500 million people are visually impaired and the population is expected to reach to 1.2 billion by 2050. Loss of vision has profound impact on people's independence, mobility, mental health, cognition and social function. Significant efforts are being made to replace conventional technologies with state-of-the-art digital solutions to address visual impairment. I hope Professor Chaudhary's efforts to bring low vision practice to the mainstream gains the appreciation it deserves. I wish you all the best.